Hi folks, and in this video, what we're going to do is have a look at making the user interface invisible when we don't actually require that detail. So at this moment in time, we have quite a lot of information appearing and the characters, there you go, they're appearing in my UI, even if I'm out of range of them. So what we're going to do is make that information disappear. And we're going to do that by going to the enemy health widget that we created earlier and clicking on the canvas panel. Now, because of the way that the data is all being kept within this single canvas panel, what I'm actually going to do is make it disappear. So just quickly set this to hidden. Then when we go to play the game level, of course, that data no longer appears just down there in the bottom right hand corner. So if I then click on the bind button, create binding, what we're going to do is now create it so it will appear when we're within the range of the enemy characters. And we do that by simply casting to the main player character like so, and then get player character like usual. And then what we're going to do is on the main player character, we actually have the in combat zone variable, which we can use in combat Zone, get this and then we can simply set this to an if statement like so and if in the combat zone equals true return this in this data to actually become visible and then just control C and control V to paste this data and then set this to hidden so what should happen is it will start off invisible and then if we're in the combat zone it will make it visible if not it'll make the data hidden so let's see what happens. So it starts off, there we go, it should have been invisible, but we are actually within a box. There you go, there's your player character health, like so. We run away from them, it disappears. We run near them, there you go, his health appears there. If I go near him again, it keeps on updating. And then attack him for the last time, there you go. And there, folks, is how we make our information only appear when we actually require it to within our game world must be a hidden enemy object just down here somewhere. 